is a paradox. Uh, uh, I think he catered to the illusion that he was a bon vivant and, and out on the town and, and drinking heavily. Matter of fact, I, I, I don't know if Jack actually drank heavily or one drink got him uh, to be one drunk. Um, but as he got older, uh, he became increasingly withdrawn. He was interested in the supernatural and the psychic, and he became a, a student of occult, and he was essentially a, a very profound man. Remember, I said that we had a um, abiding friendship, and I knew it was based more than our both being in uh, the comedy business. It was in how he perceived life. Although he was somewhat cynical, I found it was uh, essentially defensive. And uh, deep down, he was not the unkind person he was painted to be. As, when I mentioned earlier, I had mononucleosis, and I think there wasn't a week during the eight or nine weeks in which I was bedridden uh, that Jackie didn't come over two or three times uh, he might invent excuses why he was there, uh, you know, being, he was uncomfortable admitting to any, uh, uh, uh being sentimental or, uh, or sensitive, uh, which is a prevalent condition today. We're filled with cynicism and we're embarrassed by, uh, caring, loving, and, uh, tenderness. And so, um, that may have been part of his, uh, uh, problem that he wanted a, an outlet for all these feelings and, and, and didn't have it. How would you describe his talents? Why was he so popular on TV? Uh, I think he was probably one of the best reactors that I've ever encountered. And I think this is true. Uh, other people who are experts at this uh, do agree. His skill was not in delivering a joke, but responding to events, moments, lines. As a matter of fact, very often we would go to him and say, Jackie, you don't have many punchlines. He said, do I have something to react to? And we'd say, yes. He said, okay, I'll take care of myself. And I think that was his skill. Remember those magnificent takes, those delayed reactions. Uh, nobody can make as many chins go as Jackie could, with possibly the exception of Charles Lawton. Um, uh, and I think he discovered that and I may have been with him uh, when it happened. He was appearing on a bill as the comic, and on the act was a novelty, on the bill was a novelty act, uh, Chaz Chase. Chaz Chase came out uh, elegantly dressed, tuxedo, uh, uh, white tie, uh, tails actually, white tie, and cigarette, and he never spoke. But as he lit the cigarette, he ate it. Then he'd eat the collar of his shirt, everything. Uh, and he, the audience would be stupefied and, and finally burst into laughter. Uh, he was a very ad adept at palming things, but you got the illusion he was eating his whole outfit and would be down to his shorts soon. Well, uh, Gleason decided uh, to come on stage and react to Chaz Chase. And I, the act suddenly became twice as funny. Gleason representing the audience and responding to what was happening. And I think at that moment, Jackie realized he's not good at delivering jokes out of character. He's not essentially a monologist. He is a comic actor. And, and, and ultimately he made that transition. He still tried to do monologue, but he himself knew, and that's why we had all those uh, disquieting moments at the opening of the variety show, trying to find jokes he could tell.